Hello, I want to bring you some great news from Stone Churchyard. As part of my role as the Associate Rector in the Witchet Vale, I'm Vicar of St John the Baptist in Stone. And I want to thank all those who put so much work into maintaining our churchyard and the churchyards in all the churches in the Witchet Vale. You do a fabulous job. This year we've had a report again from Michael Pitt Payne and I wanted to tell you more about it. Michael has been counting the butterflies and moths in our churchyard. These are some of the pictures that he has taken himself in our churchyard and they are stunning. Michael has recorded 19 different species of moth and butterfly. This is the most recorded in any churchyard in the Upper Thames region in the last few years. These beautiful insects are vital for our ecology and so it's a really important part of our eco-mission, restoring God's creation. Seeing these number of butterflies is not because we're in lockdown this year or by chance. A few years ago, the same wonderful volunteers were really mowing the grass and keeping it looking pristine. But Michael and others made a decision to change the way that we managed our churchyard and allow wild flowers to grow. In particular, ragwort has become really important. Ragwort is controversial because it's poisonous for cows and horses, although they actually just avoid eating them if it grows in their fields. But ragwort is fabulous. And look, here is one of the caterpillars on our ragwort part plants. This is a cinnabar moth caterpillar and this caterpillar turns into this stunning moth. It's not the only thing that depends on rag. Here we've got photographs of small coppers and a holly blue but other wildflowers have grown and we've got a ringlet and a marbled white. We've had peacocks and brown argus. Common blues, that's the male and the female. Stunning Essex skipper. And look at this fabulous photograph of the most amazing moth around. Hummingbird, this is the hummingbird hawk moth. What a fantastic moth. And what a fantastic photograph to catch that in the wing. These fabulous butterflies are here because we have a balance between the areas of the churchyard which are mown and the areas where plants and wildlife are allowed to flourish. And that is why we have recorded the greatest variety of butterflies and moths over the last few years. And you can help. In order to encourage the growth of butterflies and moths and insects generally, you can take part in the big butterfly count. You need to get on with it right now. You've got a couple of weeks, you've got a week or so to do this. You can go to their website, just Google it in, and go to the big butterfly count and download this chart and then spend 15 minutes in a sunny spot. Note how many species you see and submit your readings to the big butterfly count 
you can also use an app. You can do it in your garden and do it out on a walk. You can do it in one of our fabulous churchyards. This is our contribution to the revival of the earth.